You can't make good beer with dirty stuff. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean a keg. In fact, I'm gonna clean four kegs. I like to consolidate my keg cleaning. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, release the pressure from the keg, which I've already done. Pop the top off. You'll dump whatever is in here into the sink or toilet or whatever. Then you will rinse it out. Pour some water in there, dump it, hose it again, pour it out, maybe do it a third time. We use what we call keg lube which is food grade petroleum jelly on our gas posts so they don't leak or to reduce the leakage, minimize the leakage. So what I do is take a paper towel and wipe that off, wipe as much off as you can. Okay, so we have a wrench. I am just going to take the poppets off here. So this is my liquid post. So this is comprised of a few different pieces. There's a spring, there's a little like nub in there, and then there's the main body. I'm gonna put these in a bowl, and then I'll take this guy off as well. The gas post off. The gas post, same parts as the liquid post, plus has a little small dip tube that goes down into the keg. There's also a larger, longer dip tube on the liquid side. Um, I'm gonna leave that in here and I'll talk about that in a little bit. And once you're done, you will have a bowl full of keg parts that looks like this. Okay, next step, and I'm actually shooting this out of order. In reality, I've already done this, but I'm gonna show you what to do here. This is the first thing you should have done, the first thing I actually did do. Make a PBW solution. What I like to do is follow the directions when I use products like this. Aging tanks and kegs use three quarters of an ounce per gallon of water. I'm gonna make up a five gallon solution. 3.75 ounces is what I'm gonna need. So, 3.75. So I have my PBW, I'm just gonna pop it in my liquid here. PBW um, actually works better once it's heated. Heat this five gallons of solution up to 150 degrees. I have this set to 150. I have the heating element on. I am going to circulate through the pump. It tends to dissolve faster when I do it that way. We have a separate video on cleaning a brew system, but what this will do is clean my brewing system. So bonus, I'm cleaning basically everything today. Okay, we've reached 150. I'm gonna turn my pump off. Everything has dissolved in the kettle, that's important. And I'm just gonna fill this bowl up here. Whoa! Too much pressure, too much pressure. There we go, much better. Did I mention protective gear? Goggles, gloves? Oh, I didn't. Well, I should have. I used to have two rubber gloves. One of them ripped and they're on order, they're on the way. Heat's off, pump on. I am going to fill this keg with PBW solution. I've just left the long dip tube in the keg for now. I've got the keg filled here. I'm going to take this guy out and I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm just kinda gonna do one of these numbers. What I will do here is I'm just gonna pull this rubber gasket back a little bit because there's a little lip under here um, and I'm gonna make sure that that gets clean as well. I'm also gonna take this pipe cleaner here. It's a specialized brush for kegs and I'm gonna clean the dip tube with it. I'll just run it all the way through and then back out a couple of times. These guys have been soaking for a while. I'll just go ahead and dump this back into the kettle because I'm gonna need these parts out of here. 
So, I'm going to reassemble this keg. Okay, I have my keg reassembled and it's been sitting in this direction for a little while. <clears throat> so I've let the bottom soak. Now I'll just turn it upside down and I'll let that soak for like five minutes or so. Always remember, there's a difference between cleaning and sanitizing. You can't sanitize something that's dirty. I'm ready now to move on to the next keg. Hopefully we didn't lose our prime. Ah, that was close. You could pour the liquid from one keg to another, but it just gets messy. I recommend buying a liquid retention mat and doing your work on that. We have three liquid retention mats in this office and it has saved a ton of wear and tear on our floor. We'll link to them in the description. Okay, that's the general process. However, there is one more very important step that you do not want to skip, which is rinsing all of these kegs with clean water. So what I will do is I'll just take these over to the sink and I'll just start filling them up with hot water and then shaking them around. I'll rinse them out. That's that. Make sure to check out our video on cleaning brewing equipment and keep an eye out for our video on cleaning taps and tap lines, which we will be releasing soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.